So I'm like 20, 25 hours into Trails Through Daybreak. I'm roughly about halfway through the chapter here in Tharbod. And I don't know if I like this game at this point. I don't think I hate it, but I feel almost nothing about it, which is probably worse in a way. I mean, like, there's there's stuff to like from it. I do like the locations. I do enjoy, like, the, the side stuff as we always get with a Trails game, but I feel like what this game is trying to do differently is actually actively against what Trails has been, at least for me. I know I've seen a lot of reviews of people saying, this is the best one yet or this is a great you know way to keep things fresh in the same way of like yakuza like a dragon's been keeping the series fresh i don't think trails through daybreak is doing that because i mean i don't they're not trying to go the exact road that a like a dragon is but they are switching up the gameplay a little bit i mean obviously we have that overworld you know hack and slash sort of fighting style that we have now and at first i didn't mind it i mean i thought it was a nice change of pace you know it makes the general fights against you know the weaker enemies on the overworld that lead up to a boss make them that less more of a waste of time by just you know going into the fight and doing a few things here and there and boom it's done you get your xp and you go and you do it rinse and repeat how many ever times at least it, it takes some of that away the problem that i'm now encountering is after doing this for the upteenth time it doesn't feel that interesting. It's just smack, 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 dodge, smack, smack, R2 for, you know, the special attack to stun them, continue, whatever. I know that they probably want you to lean more into use your shards and get into the turn-based combat and kind of flip between the two. But, like, it just, it seems faster to do, you know, the hack and slash way than anything else. I'm playing on easy, by the way. I don't normally play on harder difficulties just because I'm I'm more there for the story. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but like the hack and slash gameplay doesn't mean much. And I've got to say what decisions that they have made with the, the ROM does with the plugins and everything now with having preset spells, I cannot stand. I know it was like that sort of with abilities with people, but they were specifically their crafts. That still doesn't change. They still have their own individual crafts, but arts now are relatively limited to what you can do. It's not a case of, you can just put whatever you want on them like you used to be able to do with the with the with all the other games. Now it's a case of, okay, well, if you give them this, they have this specific set and you can unlock maybe one or two, maybe even three slots to put a couple of extra spells in there. But that doesn't really let you customize yourself that well. It just gives you a number of choices to go with. And you just, basically what I've ended up doing is, okay, well, this guy has the fire spells. This guy has the wind spells. This one has the water spells. And here you all get some sort of healing and status helping spell, you know, in case I ever need you for that. I'm not really feeling like I'm doing a lot of customization here. And with how I'm currently at in this chapter, by now I would have at least had a better sense of how I'm going to build my characters. Like by the time I would have gotten 20 hours into a cold steel game, Reem would already be ready to go for, you know, his critical damage and being able to just disperse enemies and gain CP back. Either whether it was Fee or whether it was Kurt, I have at least a decent evasion build going on. I have my healer. I have, you know, my just heavy, heavy dealer, like say what Laura would do. Like I have a lot of these things planned out. With Daybreak, I'm not doing any of that right now. And, in, and normally like, I would have thought, well, it must be the easier difficulty because all I'm really doing is just using the S-Crafts and just whittling their HP down and then just kind of fighting a little bit to end it. But it wasn't even like that when I was playing Cold Steel on easy. I've played every single game if I had the ability to do so on an easier difficulty. And I've never had this issue before. It's always been a case of, you know, make a build, have a strategy around, have like guys with a certain like, you know, sense of what their purpose is like again kurt being an evasion specialist like stuff like that these characters don't have that i figure that fairy is supposed to be that but because of the way the battle system's kind of running now i'm not feeling like that's a thing um i don't i don't feel like there's any point in, in using arts as much because they don't seem to do nearly as much damage when they should be hitting like weak spots they're doing a little more but not like enough that it's nearly as effective so that's kind of out of the realm of possibility to me so like 
the battles right now, and it, this may just be a thing where I'm either not understanding how the new system works. That's always a possibility because I'm used to doing it in a similar way for essentially, what, 11 games now? But right now, I'm not feeling it at all. None of the bosses are interesting. None of the enemies are interesting. The locations in the overworld are starting to get very boring. They're just empty maps with, you know, like the oasis outside of Tharabob was the point that I went, oh God, it's literally just a bunch of empty sand with a few enemies and chests scattered around it. Whereas at least like you would think like the underground waterways in the, in the same game, but like in other old steel games, for example, you know, there at least was some sort of a design to them. Like even... I just finished the underground waterway to, to unlock the bath in Tharbot. And I didn't even get to use any of the quote unquote, like, uh, like levers and stuff in this dungeon, because I guess I'm going back there to do something later. But like, I basically just went in this dungeon, wasn't even able to explore all of it and wasn't even able to touch anything. I just kept walking till eventually that was the path that led me where I needed to go. I don't feel like what this game is doing right now is actually grabbing my attention. And then that leads to the other half, which is what usually is supposed to keep me invested in these games. Cause I'm not going to say, out, I'm not going to say with a straight face, that cold steel or sky or Azure that they're amazing combat games. Like they're fine. They're perfectly serviceable. I like a few things here and there, but like, they're not like turn-based JRPGs aren't always, you know, the most like, holy shit. This is like, breaking like game breaking level gameplay like this is insane for its time like it doesn't really exist like that it's always how the storytelling is done it's always what you know it is able to show you rather than how you play and as we sit here 20 ish hours into this campaign i mean even like even with cold steel where it was literally just anime high school you know every trope under the sun it still had some interesting stuff going on. The characters right now aren't doing it. Vaughn is a poor man's Reen, at least because his voice his voice just sounds so much like Reen in certain bits that it's still throwing me off. But like, what's his gimmick right now? We don't really know anything about him still at this point, where it seems like it's very obvious that there's something mysterious about him in his past because they keep referencing to him being part of you know various events you know in the in the past like history of the games. But like, what's his gimmick? He's a he's got a big sweet tooth. Okay, all right. Well, clearly the some of the side members must help, right? So Anya's, which by the way is a stupid fucking name, which is another thing that this game is getting on my nerves for. It's pronunciation of stuff, and also just in general, its naming structure. Like, it's it's not interesting anymore. Like, you know, not every character hits, but like, Vaughn isn't a very interesting name. It's to me, it's just Van, Vaughn, Van, whatever it is. Like. I'm I'm even I'm not even sure if I'm even pronouncing it right the first time I do it. It might be actually be Van. That's that's how much it's not sinking into me as I'm not even remembering the pronunciation of names. I'm good with this shit, by the way. But like Agnes. It's Agnes. Stop being fucking stupid with naming. But like, what's interesting about her? She's nice. And she's blonde and has big boobs. That's it. That that's what I've seen out of her so far. Okay. That's an NPC. What's the fucking point? Okay, fairy. All right. Yeah, fine. Spunky. Like, it's basically another fee clone. So it's not even original. It's just another thing of something. And now you get Aaron, who is fine, but he spends way too much time just ragging on Van for being an old guy, which is really fucking stupid when he's like, what, four years older than him? So, like, it's a dumb joke that they keep coming back to, and it's not even a good one. So there's that. And now I've just gotten reset, which again, makes me think of other people, which is never a good thing. And she is a girl in a maid costume. Like she's Sharon without the bondage. She's just, she's just, the, she's just a girl in a maid outfit at this point that like is just mysterious. But it's not interesting because I've already seen it before. It feels like, I don't want to say they're running out of ideas, but it seems like they're starting to, to really copy and paste everything they're doing to the point that the, one of the last things I've done is I've gone out to the pool where you meet up with uh, Nina and Judith. 
and both of their swimsuits are copy and paste from Cold Steel swimsuits. Nina is wearing a, co- a, re- a reskin of Emma's, and Judith is wearing a reskin of Alfine's. Guys. Did you literally spend all of your time on a pointless battle system that you forgot what made you good? Because the NPCs aren't doing it for me the same way. There are a few here and there. Like, I really like uh, Marielle, who is the um, the reporter who is always trying to get into Dingo's pants. She's very entertaining. I like her a lot. But, like, for the most part, most people are not interesting. The villains suck at this point. They're terrible. I think I just got the sense of, like, a couple of new Ouroboros members, just based on their, on their looks. I'm not going to... You know, give too many details because I'm trying to avoid spoilers as much as I can. But, like, they don't look interesting right now. Apart from the fact that one of them is just, okay, so it's just a hot girl in, like, some old school, like, the the black veil sort of thing. Like, okay, so she's just hot. All right. Cool. Not like we already have 70 different really hot big titty characters in this series. I mean, it's cool to see some characters back. Like, we've had a couple of cameos so far, so it's nice to see people, but, like, I'm sure it's going to turn. I'm sure it is. Like, I'm going to finish this game because I owe it to them. They've done so good for me for the last all of them. (laughs) So, but it's frustrating that I'm 20-ish hours in and I'm actually not having the urge to play it. I, I literally stopped what I was doing to go look at something and ended up, this is ironically how I'm making this video. I haven't done anything on this channel in forever. And I'm so bored that I ended up going on to my old blog and started just scrolling for a bit and realized, fuck, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't fucking ranted. I haven't done anything in a while on this channel. The last thing I put up was me singing a song, and then after that, it was me doing Final Fantasy IV for Enterprise Seeds. The last time that I did a rant on this channel, I had fucking hair. (laughs) That's how fucking long it's been. I don't know why I'm putting these headphones back on. It's not like I'm listening to anything. Not that you know of. You never know. But, but like, right now, I don't don't see it. Like, there is always the potential, because the storytelling in the series has always been fantastic. But as it stands right now, they have not even gotten me intrigued on, like... Because the first game usually in these arcs, like Cold Steel 1, I'm not going to spoil it, but, like, Cold Steel 1 isn't you fighting God, right? You're not fighting God at the end. You're not doing, like, the usual JRPG trope. Like, there's... It starts small and builds its way. I don't know what this is building towards yet. Because, like, we know the group that is currently slated to be the thing. But, like... Ouroboros, do they factor in at all at any point? Is there going to be a turn there? Like, or is, is there another war coming out? Like, because, you know, we don't know. Like, usually with Cole, or not tra- uh, Cole, what Trails has always done is there's always some sort of politics involved. Generally, there's always something in the background that's trying to take over things. And we, in very, in like passing at the beginning of the game, we heard like a speech from like the new president because it's not Rocksmith anymore. But, like, does that factor into anything at all? And as it stands right now, like, this formula has been terrible that they've run. Because every chapter is the device lights up. You go into a new place. There's another person that, you know, from this group that fight. And then you collect the piece. Someone probably dies. And you go on to the next thing. And now that it's happening in this same formula, like I can almost see what's going to happen here at the end of the Sarabad chapter. And if I'm right, there's going to be a temptation to stop. Because if I can call what's happening immediately before it's even close to happening, that's not good. I, I, I'm pretty good at, at figuring stuff out. Not the, to this extent. I shouldn't be this far ahead of the game if that's where it's at. But... I, I don't know, man. Like, it might just be... It could be a lot of things, too. Like, I've had a bit of a run of not really being interested in a whole lot of games. Like, I've played through a bunch of stuff, but then stopped midway. 
it could be a factor of that, but like Trails is the series for me. And I was worried going into this one because of the combat change that it was going to affect things. I didn't think it was going to be to this extent. Because I'm positive that Judith is going to be a party member. And I don't like Judith much either. So if that's a sixth party member, I don't know how many more I'm getting. And it might, I mean, maybe Elaine's one. And there's got to be another guy in there somewhere because it can't just be two dudes the entire time. But like, I don't know, man. Like, this is bad. This is this is pretty bad. I'm pretty pretty concerned. You know that I'm 20 hours into a trails game and I'm going. I don't know if I like this. It's it's pretty disappointing considering how uh, right now the JRPG series is so wide open that trails could just come in and take it. Because Final Fantasy sucks as far as I'm concerned and hasn't been good in 20 years. Persona is like a once a decade thing these days apart from re-releasing it 17 times, like it's Skyrim. Um, Square apparently just has no interest in making any good JRPGs anymore, and if they do, they're ruined the next time, because Rebirth, I'm not going to say sucks, but it isn't nearly as good as the first. <sighs> I'm just disappointed, man. I, 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 I'm hoping that the next time... I go on the on my podcast, you know, by the way, which you haven't already, Pixel Play Podcast, go on YouTube and check that out. But I hope that when I do actually talk about this game again, whether I'm like 30 hours in, 40 hours in, maybe I finished the game, that I have a change of heart on this and that I'm going, okay, no, fine. You know what? It it was an insanely slow start, but I'm so fucking in on this game. Because there's stuff to happen. Like Anya's, again, stupid fucking name, but there's clearly something with her. Don't know what, but there's clearly something with her. And I'm still waiting for to know a little bit more about Van, and I'm waiting to see the turn to see you know where the story is actually going to go. But at this point in the game, and every other Trails games I've ever played, there's been something by now. And apart from a side mission where you help a girl find some hair ties, that is the only time that I've actually had like any sort of an emotional reaction to anything. Otherwise, I don't care. And the fact that this game is, I don't know if it's trying to be darker because more and more people are actually dying. Like, blood actually exists in this game, which is uh, interesting. But I don't know if it adds to anything right now because the people that this happens to are there for all of five minutes. I don't care who these people are. It's not like we're doing anything with a character from Sky who you've known for all of this time and something happens to them. It's a person that is an NPC that is there for literally five minutes and then gone. I don't care. And if it happens to the person that I think it's going to in Tharbad, again, that's not enough. And also now you're just literally throwing the same dart at the same spot of the wall and it's lost interest. If this person dies too, I don't give a shit anymore. Like, it's literally a copy and paste of thing, and I'm done with that. Like, it, it's fucking boring. So, I, I don't know, man. Like, if, if y'all are enjoying the game, like, let me know, like, if, it, you know, if maybe I'm just almost there. Like, if there's a certain point in the game that, you know, without spoiling it to me, obviously, but in the, in the YouTube comments, if y'all watch this and, and you made it this far, let me know, like... Is there a, is there a, is it coming up like is it during this chapter in Tharbot is it maybe the next chapter like is it going to get amazing because right now it's at best meh like it's meh and I have not played a single Trails game that has ever made me go meh Reverie is the closest but Reverie is not actually a good story it is just literally hey do you want fan service up the ass like it's Mass Effect 3 Citadel do you want literally just a bunch of little like loose ends to be finally finished? That's Reverie. And it, and like it's the lowest rated game that I would say out of the Trail series, but I still fucking love it. It was great. But this one, Daybreak. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is going to be a good one by the time I'm done. 